the fact that I always know that somebody's out there better than me. Um, if I see somebody faster than me, you know, they can dribble a little better than me, they shoot better than me, you know, I, I, I'm always hungry. Um, there's never a day where I wake up and go, I'm comfortable with where I'm at as a basketball player. Um, it's never happened. So um, for me, the, motiv the motivation just comes from within. You know, it's, I just don't like being beat. I'm very competitive, you know, always be the best no matter what. I got into wheelchair basketball via the Marine Corps. Um, straight out of high school, I joined the Marine Corps. Um, didn't get to be in as long as I wanted to. Um, a car accident kind of sidelined me a little early. Um, did my recovery in San Diego and the Wounded Warrior Regiment in San Diego got a bunch of guys to get involved with what was called the Marine Corps Trials. And um, they introduced me to wheelchair basketball and seated volleyball and I kind of kind of grasped it a little bit at first, but it didn't take me until about two or three years after to fully commit to wheelchair basketball. My future plans definitely involve basketball. Basketball is, is everything I do. Um, I plan on getting involved with the community a, a little more. Um, immediate plans is, is just get better. Come, come to UTA and help these, these players and these coaches, you know, bring, bring what I can, but also learn from them as well. Um, I'm still brand, brand new, so my future plans is to win a championship. Uh, hopefully in overseas. If not, then I definitely want to get back into the coaching of kids. I definitely look up to my mom probably the most. Um, and honestly, that's probably about it, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest. Um, she's just a strong woman, man. She's, uh, she does a lot. She's done a lot for me and my sister as kids grow growing up, helping us, putting us in a good situation necessarily when she wasn't necessarily in a a great place so um, just the fact that that woman is still going at 110 percent you know and she's over 50 now you know lets me know at 28 that I can still you know I can still be active and young and stuff like that so my mom motiv motivates the heck out of me it's really easy to fall in line it's really easy to get behind a group of people you know whether they be lazy you know whether they're bullying somebody or so something like that my my advice is dare to be different you know get out there and make an impact if you can if you can change something if your hard work can motivate just one or two people that's you know that's changing the world so i would say i would say dare dare to be different is my advice